the show after this. Christian, are you going to share a chair with me too? This is really interesting. Oh, Christian's playing a oh, is he? flip cup or something. All right. Christian McCaffrey. Because you're running with the big dogs now. Get in McCaffrey. Breaks a tackle. There he goes. So get up because you're running with the big dogs now. love about certain people when they like make me look smart when I say something about them and then it's like told you when this trade happened with Christian McCaffrey from the Panthers to the Niners I said this is going to be the most impactful midseason pickup in NFL history and he helped make me look good and he also helped lead the Niners to 12 straight wins right after snagging him at the buzzer at the trade deadline racking up over 2,000 total yards which is like normal for you now 16 touchdowns Christian McCaffrey <laughs> is here hi how are you? It's, I appreciate it's you having me on. You're so calm that I need to like calm down around you because <laughs> you're such a cool character and I'm like, ah! No, no, no. I appreciate you having me on. And I appreciate all the kind words you said about me this season. I see it. Not everyone did. So I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Yeah. yeah. We, I mean, it's the perfect fit and we're going to get into that. And that first game that you had there, I was like, bam, bam. That was incredible. <laughs> but I also want to talk about the Pro Bowl. You were just there. I thought it was so incredible that we saw footage and, you know, we don't always see everything that goes on there, but you stayed after like how long to sign autographs for kids I want to know why you did that why that was so important because everyone left you could have gotten the buses what was it what was that about um you know I think obviously I was a kid once and I used to look up to a bunch of football players and my dad played and I remember my favorite thing was just being around the players and getting autographs and having them sign cards so anytime I get an opportunity to I I try to pay it forward who did you look up to the most when you were my dad. I know, yeah, but I was going to say outside It was tough to, uh, all the, man, I, I mean, I grew up in, you know, the late 90s, early 2000s when the Broncos were the Broncos, and, you know, they won two Super Bowls in a row. So I remember being in the locker room with Trell Davis and, and Shannon Sharp and Rod Smith and Al Wilson and all these guys who, you know, I grew up, that was my team. So all those Broncos players. It's amazing. Okay, I know that you are happy to be here. You are happy to be at the Pro Bowl with those fans. You're happy to be on our set. But I, if I know anything about you, is that this is you're still a week and a half ago in the NFC Championship game that didn't really pan out the way any of us thought it, we, that it would. Adversity, injuries. How are, is that sitting with you now removed over a week? Uh, it's tough. Uh, it's really tough. You know, it's um, you know you don't want to make excuses, obviously, but it, it just sucks because we wish we had you know a healthy quarterback for a full game and just kind of see how the game would have panned out. Um, it's a really good team that we played, but it's just it feels like something got stolen from you, you know, and uh, just wish it would have would have played out differently. Wish we could have ran that one back. But hopefully they change that rule where you can carry a third quarterback. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what I hope they do. But yeah, definitely still tough. Well, we keep I kept hearing that Jimmy could have gone. Was there anything to that? I don't know. I don't. I yeah. that's above my pay grade. OK, but then this Josh Johnson thing happens, right? He goes down. The second that happens, you know, right, that you're the emergency quarterback. So what is going through your head? Not Take me into it's your brain. Complete, no, uh, there was a package. You know, there, we had a couple packages out there of, you know, possibly we could have done some stuff. But at that point, um, you know, Brock could still hand the ball off and could still throw some screens. And um, I mean, I think it's a testament to how tough he was to stay in that game and continue to do some stuff because, you know, that is a serious injury. A lot of people wouldn't have done that. Um, but I was ready, you know, at that point, I was ready to go. I, uh, I told George and told a couple other guys, if I get the op, I'm throwing it. And then it came and didn't work the way I wanted it to. Would you have wanted, would you feel completely confident in doing that? Were you, were you lobbying to get the ball? I think in the heat of battle, you, you feel confident doing anything. Me personally, just whatever they tell you to do, you're confident. Whether or not it works <laughs> um, is a different conversation, but I think the confidence would have been there. At that point, you know, you still have two quarters left in the game. Yeah. You don't have a, you know, a healthy quarterback, um, but there was always hope. You know, you never know what can happen in a football game. Defense could get a turnover here or there, and so there was always hope. It just, you know, once again, it's tough in the NFL to, to win without a quarterback. What is George Kittle saying back when you go, if I'm getting the ball, I'm throwing? What did, he, what did he say to you? He's fired up, man. He's the most <laughs> positive guy I've ever played with, so he was ready to go. Uh, and there's a lot of reason to think that you should be confident and want the ball because the, literally the second you got there, you had the most insane game. You ran one in, you uh, had a receiving touchdown, and you threw a 
touchdown pass, we had it. Take me through what went into this and the package or whatever. We have it. Go for it. This is your 2022 yeah. season script. Week one is a niner <laughs> for Christian McCaffrey. This Go. Is my, I was excited to, to see my script. But yeah. No, I mean, yeah, we had uh, we had put a couple plays in. Ayuk made a great catch here. He actually had to turn the other way, um, but it was a great play call at an important time. I had so much fun this whole season playing with these guys. I feel like the amount of talent that's on this offense, uh, everyone could just play free. Not every game is going to be a big statistical game for you because of the amount of talent that you have. And you know, if if I'm being double teamed, guys like Debo, Ayuk, George, all these other players are going to go off, and and vice versa. And so it's just a complete. It felt fun to play with, you know, complete football players, positionless football players who can line up anywhere. And with that, with that defense, it was just fun, fun to be around that locker room. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you about Brock Purdy because you said he's so tough. It's a testament to him. There's idiots that, that like to say, well, I could go out there. If I had George Kittle, Christian McCaffrey, and Kyle Shanley, like, I could make it happen. <laughs> Talk to those people. Like, Brock Purdy is special because... Yeah. I think you described them well. Uh, idiots is probably a good term. Yeah. Um, no, playing in NFL football at the quarterback position uh, is incredibly difficult. Um, and to come in as a rookie and to handle himself the way he did, to put the ball where he needed to put it, was, you know, very impressive. I've seen, I played with a lot of quarterbacks in, in six years, and what he did was I didn't think could be done by a rookie quarterback, and he proved me wrong. So, um, um, I'm just going to ask it like this. It's been an a, a adversity-filled couple of moments for you over the years. And then this finally happens. You get there, 12 straight wins, and it is the highest of highs, except you're going to get that Super Bowl. I just know you will. I know it's going to happen for you. What was the biggest challenge or, like, the lowest point? Like, I, I've, I've had this great conversation once with Saquon Barkley about how when he was injured, it was the best thing and the best moment because it let him understand adversity, let him sit back. So, like, what was the biggest like, challenge of finally get b before you finally got here? Yeah, I think even in some losing seasons, I'd had good individual years, and I didn't understand what adversity in the NFL looked like yet at an individual level. At a team level, we, I had faced some and lost some big games, etc. But for me, not being able to play, uh, having to watch my teammates go out there and play from the side, and, and, and you feel like you're not a part of the team. You feel like you're, you're an outcast. And then to hear the noise, to hear what people are saying about you, that you should retire, that you're never going to be the same again, that you can't do this and you can't do that, and you can't do anything about it other than sit there and listen to it and wait for next year. I think the, the patience part of it was the biggest thing I learned and the understanding that this whole thing is a marathon, that I don't plan on playing another couple of years. I want to be in this as long as I possibly can, and that's going to you know, come with some challenges here and there. It's, it's everybody's story. Every NFL player I talk to who's played, they've gone through something here and there, and they had to hear this, and they had to you know, be patient. And um, the quicker I understood to just put one foot in front of the other, control what I can control, and go out there and be me, um, it was a big weight off my shoulders. And obviously being traded to San Fran, um, I felt like, you know what? I got nothing to lose. Go out there and ball. Play your game. Work as hard as you possibly can and see what happens. Who, who called you? What was the phone call like when you knew you were traded? Was it Kyle? Uh, the GM called me and told John me Lynch? we're trading him. No, in oh, Carolina. Oh. And, then, and then I got a call from John and, and, and Kyle, and, and then George Kittle was third. He called you third? <laughs> what, did, third. what did Kittle say? He was yelling on the phone. I, I was a little bit incoherent. I didn't know what he was saying. He was really excited. So that meant a lot to me for somebody like that to call me. And then just the welcome. That team is a special team. You can tell that they've built a culture in the last six years, a very high standard culture, because the way I was welcomed and the way that they took me in um, made me feel like part of the family right away. And I think it's a testament to the ownership, testament to Kyle and John and what they've built, and then obviously the, the player leadership. I love that. Okay, so before I let you go, we're going to go play some, uh, some ping pong, I think. The P&G battle of the past. Do you want to rest? You don't want to relax? Like you just said you got... You want to you want to get you want this smoke from guys like Buddha Baker? I do. Talk to me. The PNG battle of the paddle. So I've been playing ping pong since I was a young kid. How and, old? Uh, 10, 11 is when <laughs> I first started. So uh, I've been hearing a lot of noise from a lot of different guys. There's eight of us playing. It's live 7 p.m. Eastern on Twitch. And during it, you can, you can watch it and get some exclusive deals on Amazon. So it's fun for the viewers. It's fun for us. But there's two things I take seriously in this world, and that's football. That's ping pong. Look at that. Football and ping pong. Football Look over there. Pong. You talk to Budabik. Who else is in this thing? 
Jared Goff apparently, Jared Goff's coming in, I'd say, with the most Go confidence. to that single camera. We uh, got this smoke coming for yeah. you. You hear this, Jared no, Goff? It's you had such a good year over there in Detroit. We don't care. Yep. Ping pong doesn't care. It's the PNG Battle of Paddles. Let's take a walk over here. I'll come be your hype girl, Christian. Uh, anytime. All right. That. Let's do this. Buda Baker, my is Buda Baker not here? All right. We're waiting for Buda Baker and Papa. I wanted you guys to play some ping pong, but here's what's going to happen. We're doing it with paddles? I think so. Here's what we'd like to do. Ooh, this, this sounds too hard. Paddle sounds too hard. No? Especially Emergency quarterback Come for the on. San Francisco 49ers. You can either throw, we're going to put 30 seconds on the clock. Here's a, Darius Butler sunk five of these things in. Darius Butler had fun in college. What okay. about? Okay, you didn't Kay, have fun in college. Kay Adams had no Zero? fun in college. Kay Adams was working in college. Okay, so you either use the paddles. He didn't. Darius Butler bounced them in. And that's what was effective, okay? I tried to throw, but I had had two shots of tequila in the morning. Yeah. You do whatever you want to do. You could use a paddle I to flex. I think the paddle would be a little hard. more difficult. It's let's, hard. let's not go with the paddle. It's too hard. Yeah, see? How much time do I get? 30 seconds. 30 Marissa will tell you when to go. Start on you. All right. Oh, ho, ho, early lead. All right, you got to beat five. You got to beat five. Oh, two. That's okay, I'm going to shut up because I feel like he needs focus. <gasps> All right. <laughs> 15 seconds. Christian, 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 Christian. Three seconds. You got this. Three seconds. Time. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, well how good? many is that? That's is that good? good? Hey, Christian, did you have fun in college? I didn't have that much fun. No, I don't Christian know. Christian had fun in college. All right, check out the PNG Battle of the Paddles. And then you just set the press. I mean, Buda Baker, look out. Where can we see it? Twitch, 7 p.m.? Twitch, 7 p.m. Tonight? Tonight. Okay, Tonight. good luck. Christian, Eastern time. you're the best. Thanks Emergency so much, quarterback. Man. Appreciate it. That was a good handshake. Yikes. All right, we will be back with Buda Baker and CD Lamb after this.